I am uh, <clears throat> going to talk about global warming revisited. The reason is revisited, I got introduced to global warming here in Linda. And I was in a panel discussion in 2008. And it was a panel discussion about global warming. Global warming is really a hot topic. And what I said then, and which I still believe, is that global warming really has become a new religion because you can't discuss it. It's not proper. The American Physical Society, which I was a member, said the evidence is incontrovertible that global warming exists. Now, think about that. This is a physical society. And they say you cannot discuss global warming because we believe it's happening. It's like the Catholic Church. The only, only answer to that is to resign. So, so it really, global warming really starts with due to these two people, Al Gore and Paul Curry, or however you pronounce it again. From 1880 to 2017, the temperature has increased from 288 to 288.83 Kelvin, 0.3%. I think the temperature has been amazingly stable. So here is then where the temperature is measured. And you see there's point on the graph, so if you can read that. And so if you, go, if you go finally to the South Pole, there are eight thermometers, <laughs> according to NASA. That's all they have, including the South Pole, eight thermometers. And so if you had eight thermometers to measure the average temperature in Germany, where would you put those eight thermometers? You know, eight thermometers for the continent is nothing. And the fact is, as I, as I deal with the South Pole, there had never been as cold on the South Pole as it is right now. There are more ice than there ever have been. And this is for the last 19 years, roughly speaking, the temperature has not gone up. It's been constant for 19 years. So it hasn't gone up with that. Well, here is the latest temperature they have measured now. And they see the curve here. And if you look at the edge here, it goes up. The temperature here goes up. How can that be when I just showed you the other curve, the temperature has been constant? Well, the reason for that is that they include now the ocean. But for 100 years, the ocean has not been included. Why do you think they include the ocean? Because it's more accurate or because they can fiddle with the data? That's what NASA does. So Obama said last uh, last year, that 2014 was the hottest year ever, but it's not true. It's not the hottest year. So if you don't, if you don't believe I'm cheating you, here is some satellite data, and this is the peak in '98, and you see basically the satellite data shows the same thing. The temperature has not increased. So you can't believe then the people who are the alarmists that CO2 is a terrible thing. And, it, and therefore, you have to not drive and use solar cells and stuff because otherwise the world will go to pot. But it's not true. It's absolutely not true. So nature, in its wisdom, uh, this was happened actually in 2012. And nobody mentioned nature how important the CO2 is for plant growth. If you have more CO2, the plant grows faster. People use greenhouses and put CO2 in greenhouses to get a higher yield. But now, since the CO2 has increased, we get more plant and more, more but grow faster. It's a wonderful thing, but they don't talk. That's what it was. But the climate changes anyway. The climate has always changed. But the people who believe in global warming said the reason climate changes is because of global warming. Another thing which amazes me, really, is that when they talk about climate change, it's always to the worse. See, the climate also changes to the better. And if climate changes, you have a 50% chance anyway, you've got to be better someplace, for heaven's sake. It can't always be to the worse. So then comes the clincher. If climate change doesn't work to scare people, we can scare people talking about extreme weather. That must work. So here is the extreme weather. And, and uh, the question is, is the ocean level rising? But this scale is in thousands of years, and this scale is in meters. 
If you look at a reason scale, and you see it here, this scaled out, you can maybe read that, and this scale here is in centimeters. And for the last hundred years, the ocean has risen 20 centimeters. But for the previous hundred years, it also rose to 20 centimeters. And for the free, last 300 years, ocean has written free 20 centimeters a hundred years. And so there is no unusual rise in the sea level. And to be sure you understand that, I'll repeat it. There is no <laughs> unusual sight in the sea level. And cheap energy is what has made us so rich. And now suddenly people don't want it anymore. See, they, we should continue. And people say the oil companies are the big bad people. I don't understand why they are worse than the windmill companies. General Electric made windmills. They don't tell you it's not economical because they make money on it. But, it, but it, nobody protests, but they protest to Exxon who makes oil. I mean, they're very good companies, but their companies are efficient and that's why we have it so nice today. So here is a statement by Obama. He gave a recent speech at the college in the United States and he said, no challenge poses a greater threat to future generation than climate change. That, how, how can he say that? And I say this to Obama, excuse me, Mr. President, but you're wrong. See, he's dead wrong.